So I've done a couple of monitor reviews on this channel. We did the 144Hz BenQ 27 inch gaming monitor. We also did a $500 home desk setup with the MacBook Pro. And I'm gonna leave links up to that over here. But this behind me is a special kind of monitor because this is the BenQ 32 inch 4K multimedia monitor. It's called the EW3280U. And there's a couple of things that make this monitor super special. So let's get into what's so cool about this monitor. Now BenQ did send this over to me to check out, but this is not a paid sponsorship or anything like that. These are my real world thoughts after using this with my M1 MacBook Air and trying out some PS5 and Xbox Series X on this monitor. Let's start off with some of the more unique features about this monitor. Now this monitor has an integrated soundbar and a subwoofer behind it. So it gives you really good audio quality. I was quite surprised by how good the audio sounds coming straight out of this monitor. It's got 4K 32 inch display. It looks absolutely beautiful. It's got about 95% of the P3 color gamut. So it's quite color accurate as well. It's got integrated HDR support so you can watch 4K HDR movies on this thing with the great sound. So it makes a really good like entertainment monitor. Could probably replace a TV in your house. It's also got sensors on the front of it which are gonna like automatically calibrate the monitor to your environment, give you like a more pleasing image more suitable for your eyes. So those are kind of like the highlights, but in day-to-day -day usage, there's like a lot of cool stuff that you can do with this monitor. So now let's talk about the aesthetics of this monitor because they focus quite heavily on the aesthetics. You'll see that the actual frame of the monitor is not that thick. In fact, because it's 32 inches, it makes it look even thinner than it actually is. And at the bottom, you'll see that soundbar design, which has got like a grayish brownish tint to it. It looks really nice. At the base, you've got a fully metal stand. Now, unfortunately, this monitor only kind of tilts and it doesn't go up and down, which would have really been nice on a monitor like this, but it's kind of similar to what like the iMac gives you. It's just tilt front and back. They also have a VESA mount at the back of the monitor. So that means you can mount it on some kind of other stand if you want to and uh, use it that way. I would suggest doing that, probably getting like a arm that's gonna like make this monitor float. And then you'll have a lot more control about how exactly you wanna place the monitor on your desk. Other physical aspects of the monitor, you get like a little control wheel over here for your volume, which is super nice. It's very easy to use that. When I connect my MacBook via USB-C to this machine, I can't control the volume from the operating system. So it's really nice that they have this little scroll wheel at the bottom where you can control the volume of the system. And this thing gets really loud. This is at like 20%. It gets really loud. I'm at the newly opened Lotus showroom in Dubai. At the back you get four ports. You get two HDMI ports, a Display 2.0 port, as well as a USB-C port. And that USB-C port supports 4K 60Hz, as well as power delivery. So now my MacBook Air over here is running at 4K 60 hertz on this monitor with sound and everything going through one cable. So I love this uh, implementation. Uh, any monitor that has USB-C and supports power delivery as well will always get a plus in my books, especially if you have any kind of modern laptop that has a USB-C port. It just makes the whole you know, cable management situation so much more simpler. You just plug in one cable into the monitor and you get sound and video at really high quality. Now, because this monitor has many additional ports, you could plug in a couple of consoles into this thing. You could plug your PS5 into this or a Chromecast or something like that. Use this as a TV. That's gonna work perfectly fine. This ain't all the knowledge. So with the flood waters we see, we may rebuild. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Here at the end of... Gotta get to the RPGs. Where would they be? Oh, the tower. Now, in order to control this monitor, you have some controls at the back over here on the right side. You get a five axis joystick on it so you can move through the menus. And this monitor has quite a big set of menus in it because it has the HDR capabilities, it's got the controls for the sensor on the front. It's got uh, HDRI, which will convert SD content into HD content. It's got native HDR support. So there's a lot of stuff that you might want to play around with, changing sources and things like that. And they also include this nice little remote 
which has all the functionality inbuilt into this remote. I would suggest using this. It makes it so much easier to control the monitor, switch sources, change the HDR settings, control the volume of the monitor as well. Now let's get into the important stuff with the image quality. I must say the image quality on this is fantastic. Having 4K resolution, especially from a device like my M1 MacBook Air is super nice to have. It's a huge difference between even this and the 27 inch iMac I have back there. That additional five inches of screen real estate makes a difference about that much. That's pretty big. And uh, especially with the higher resolution on this 32 inch screen, it looks so nice. Uh, productivity wise also, it'll help you so much. You can have so much more on the screen up at the same time. For me, video editing is a big thing. So like video editing on a screen like this is fantastic. You get to see a lot more of your timeline. Your selection of clips becomes so much bigger. You can actually see the real quality of your camera or whatever it is coming out of this thing in real 4K. In terms of productivity, it's absolutely amazing to have all that extra screen real estate. I always suggest getting the biggest monitor you can. And I think this is pretty much hitting the limit of what would be a nice monitor to have in terms of size. I think any bigger than this and you're gonna be moving your head back and forth to like uh, look at the screen. Uh, I could be wrong, but I think this is pretty much reaching the limit of what would be comfortable in terms of size of monitor to use. Everything looks just vivid and sharp on this monitor. You can color grade on it because the color accuracy is really nice. And watching movies on this thing is also a treat because the sound quality coming out of the speakers is so good. You won't even need an external speaker on this system or sound bar or anything because it is really, really nice. A couple of things I wish this monitor had. If it had a couple of USB 3.0 ports on it, that would have made this amazing because then you could plug in all your accessories directly into the monitor and have a you know, single cable solution to your computer. Now you're gonna have to use the second USB port on your computer itself which kind of makes it not exactly the ultimate like all-in-one solution. But I think this monitor is overall amazing with something like the MacBook Air or even the Mac Mini. If you get the $699 Mac Mini and this monitor costs about $800 by the way. But if you get this $800 BenQ monitor and pair it up with the $700 Mac Mini, you're gonna have a beast of a machine. Now another application for this monitor is 4K gaming. So here you can check out some of the clips with my PS5. Now I think it's a great solution to have the two HDMI ports. You're not going to get 4K 120 frames a second that these consoles are capable of. But if you think that that's not something you really need, and I think a lot of people don't really need it, then uh, this is going to be a great solution for a gaming monitor as well. Uh, you can definitely do some great console gaming on this. You get the HDR support, you get the 4K resolution. It's also got free sync in it. It's gonna vary the refresh rate based on your console as well. So it's gonna give you a really nice smooth experience on this monitor. You just miss out on the 120 frames a second. So. Uh, if that's something that doesn't matter to you, this is a great option for that as well. They've also focused a lot on user comfort with this monitor. So it's got a blue shift mode. It makes your eyes feel a little bit more comfortable. It's got something like Apple's True Tone, which will adjust the colors to your environment and the time of day and all those kind of things. Though I wouldn't use those kind of features if you're planning to do like any kind of color correcting work like photo editing or video editing on this thing. Now after experiencing a 32 inch monitor, for video editing, it's so hard to go back to the 27 inch iMac. I really hope they release a 32 inch iMac in the future because I think I might have to replace my whole iMac setup with something like this. So those are my thoughts on the 32 inch BenQ monitor. $800 price I think is justified because the kind of quality of speakers they're giving you, the quality of the display, the color accuracy is really nice. Uh, the ports are good as well. So it's a nice premium monitor to have. Thank you BenQ for sending over the monitor. I really enjoyed it and I'm sure if you pick one up, you will too. So if you guys like this video, hit that like button, leave me a comment, subscribe to watch more videos like this and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.